I have a piece here which is half of the bottom case of a uh, dirt bike uh, motor case and you can see here I got a crack right there that I need to fix there's no piece missing but it something I don't know something has something exploded or something happened where it pushed it out somebody has tried to fix it with putting maybe a JB weld or some body filler right there um, what I got to do is I got to get in there and clean it uh, grind a little bit out put a weld on there and polish it smooth so here's the part after blasting it and it took all the paint off which is good now I can see the patch where this looks like kind of looks like JB weld but what I need to do is something a little bit more aggressive to take that off I'm thinking about using a wire wheel on my uh, pretty aggressive wire wheel on my angle grinder hopefully I get that all taken off and down to where I can see the crack and then I can dress that and dress it on the inside and get this thing done so let's see if I can do that what I used to do that a wire cup here that's very aggressive this will take anything off of anything um, even your hide off your hands if you're not careful um, here it is lost the part took all of the filler off and actually kind of shined it up pretty good but now I can see my crack right there so I gotta grind that so I got a place for the weld to go grind this to get all that oil and stuff out of there and let's do that next I have my Dremel here and in it 8th inch ball nose carbide end mill I'm going to get in there and grind right here flip it over grind the inside Give me a good channel for my weld to go in. I still got contamination in there. That's on the outside for that weld. You can totally see the crack and the contamination. I'm going to hit with some cleaner. Hopefully, that I get all the oil and, and grime out and uh, then weld it. We'll see how it goes. using some finish line speed degreaser it's actually bike stuff but it works good on just about everything Problem with this stuff, even though it works really good, it stinks. It makes my shot stink.
preheated this part it's my heat gun here and this seems to work pretty well I get it on camera here there we go Side. I got it welded on the outside. Might need to do touch one weld right on here. There's a little low spot right there. Let's see if I can get that real quick. Whoops. cool off come back with the uh, die grinder make her smooth All right, I decided to put a couple more welds in here kind of got three rows in here because when this broke it was pushed down on this side and then whoever fixed it before me came and sanded this down so it really thinned out right here so having this big blob of weld uh, now I can sand and hopefully make this all kind of one surface in here and so I don't have a real thin spot But I'm going to kind of rough it out Again with my Dremel here So let's see how this goes
Well, it's getting it pretty good. A little bit more. Got to do the back. I don't think this surface is too critical. This one is though, where they where the other half meets. So I need to make sure that's really flat. Um, but I think this is clearance just for the crank that's going to be in here. Uh, but we want that nice and smooth. So I'll do a little bit more than uh, get my die grinder and polish it up. All right, change the plan. What I did here is use this little round. Uh, sanding drum on the Dremel because this is a round part and I didn't figure I can get in there with my my die grinder and I just wanted to try this but it worked really well um, that is nice and smooth uh, I got a little bit more to do kind of in the middle here um, but I'm, I'm super happy with that uh, if you just take your time and uh, do a little bit like this Just kind of work it down where you want it. Very slowly. That's uh, that'll work well. That's acceptable. Wash it up with a little bit of embry cloth, sandpaper, and move on to the outside. So I hit it with some 150 grit sandpaper here just to polish it off and hit all the, the highs down. I'm just kind of get it in this round shape here. I think it's just about perfect. I think I can do any better than that. All right, I got my carbide back in my Dremel. And again, what I'm going to do is hit all the highs off of this, and I'll come back with my little sand and drum. But this is nice because it's on the outside of the curve, so maybe for the final dressing, I can hit it with a file or something. But let's uh, let's do this right here. I got my drum in my Dremel, but I took it down all the highs with this. It's still a little proud here, but I knocked it most of the way down. Let's see how we can do with this. grinder here Timber cloth. Side feels smooth. All I gotta do is bring this high spot down, and then we're done. All right, now I got my file here, and I have a little piece of tape to 
probably not going to do much, but I want to file across here to knock that high spot down. And I don't want, I don't want to grind too much over here or next to here. So I need to focus right on this high spot. So what I'll do. Those black get a better pin here. So I can see if I'm hitting it or not. Slowly work that down. better than it did before. Now ultimately what we need to do before we assemble this is you know tape some sandpaper down to my surface table like this. I'm gonna do something like that to flatten it. Um, I don't know if there's a gasket in here all i have is this one part so hopefully there's a gasket or maybe put some rtv or something but it looks i guess there's a little evidence of a gasket here at one point um but that should be should be good for reassembly and there we have it <laughs> 